we have that discussion on a daily basis. Um, and, uh, you know, in my opinion, it's very easy when we are in the middle of a crisis to say that the whole situation that a country with 900 years of history has in a certain moment of three or four years, it's a responsibility of one single person or one single party. So it's very easy to say that it was one party or one person, but I strongly disagree with that. Uh, the only thing that I would add to that is that probably we were not smart enough to be aware of what's going on. The signs now are clearer, but at the time maybe they were not clearer. So the framework that we, we had, the experience w that we had, um, being in a Eurozone, so the, the principles that we thought were assured being in the Eurozone, uh, the financial system as a whole as it has been working until then. So considering all the information at that time, uh, maybe uh, it's not fair to say we were guilty. Maybe we, we were not completely aware of some of the consequences and we were not conservative enough to prevent or to protect uh, some decision, from some decisions that could aggravate the situation. For sure, it would be craziness not to say that we are partially responsible. But also, the other parties in the uh, parliament are responsible for things that they approved, for things that they rejected. So the result is the result of, of this complex of decisions where everybody made their stand. So everybody, is everybody should be, if. Uh, if they are completely aware of how our society works and if they want to be intellectually honest, of course, everybody is responsible. Let me just add one thing, because in 2007, first of all, the previous uh, socialist government had the lowest, in 2007, reached the lowest deficit in the history of the Portuguese democracy, 2.7, below the 3% of the, of the uh, growing pact growing and stability pact. So it's like not like we had a, a trend of overspending. In 2007, we for the first time reached under 3% deficit under our government after two years in government. So th that, that to, to, to a little bit destroy the idea that we have an approach that necessarily is overspending or deficit. That's not true and we proved it in 2007. And, but in 2008 we had the crisis and as I told you, uh, everybody was saying to uh, spend more. Maybe we didn't realize that we were spending too much and we made some decisions. We increased uh, the salaries of the public uh, workers in order to contain the crisis and we invested a lot in schools renovating uh, all the schools in the country. Uh, in a way to try with public works, but intelligent public works to renew schools and making modern schools to allow to contain a crisis that you also have in your country with the public works uh, uh, sector. Of course, that now looking back, there are several decisions that uh, were not uh, well taken. Uh, and I told you, I was telling you one of them. Maybe some of the investments that we made, uh, for instance, is in this school renovation, the idea is excellent. Maybe we should have done so many. Uh, now it's easy to say. Or, many, main, or, or main, uh, uh, for instance, uh, uh, some of the public-private partnerships on roadworks and uh, new roads, maybe maybe now looking back, maybe we should have done so many, maybe we should have done one or two less. But again, now it's very easy to do that. Uh, I really don't feel that that will solve anything going on that discussion.
Alejandro, I would like very much to answer your question, but first of all, I was not member of the government, I was not member of the parliament, and I really cannot help you in that detail to tell you why Mr. Socrates changed or not the decision. I can speculate, there is a book even about it uh, that I invite you to buy it and read it. It's from a, a reporter, David Dinish. Uh, but of course, that we are not in that debate for the reason that uh, we really feel that we should be more concerned about the present situation and the future situation and should be addressing solutions for the present problems and for the future instead of going back to that kind of analysis that, to be honest, it's divisive. Uh, it will not add to any consensus that this, the society needs now. Uh, so I really, but again, I don't have data to answer you that. I was not a member of the government. I don't know. Uh, I honestly don't know. In principle, he was making the decisions he thought were the best from the, for the country, and I strongly believe that he fought until the end not to ask for uh, the rescue because he was aware of uh, uh, the credibility problem and the years that we would take to Portugal to get back to a level of credibility that we have obtained in the, in the, in the previous years.